Hello everyone, just a quick note here. I wanted to talk to you for a moment uh, about the use of positive and negative signs in expressing latitude and longitude, just to sort of follow up on our ways of expressing latitude and longitude. I was just telling you in the last video about the differences between the DMS, degrees, minutes, seconds, and the decimal degree format. And we were saying that we always express latitude first, and then we express longitude in that particular order, whether we're using DMS or DD notation. And so if we've got the Earth over here, lumpy Earth right there, we're going to express first how far north or how far south we are from the equator, and then we will talk about how far east or west we are from the prime meridian in that particular order. This is different from how direction is expressed on a Cartesian grid. Let's see, if you remember from math class, here is the Cartesian grid. Not very straight, but you know, if you've got the coordinate plane right here, what you do is you express how far over you go first. You know, when you're talking about x and y coordinates, the first thing you do is express how far you go along the x-axis and then how far you go along the y-axis. So uh, latitude and longitude may be expressed latitude first, longitude, but this is different than a Cartesian grid which uh, gives you x first and then y. This does cause some confusion because lots of GIS programs and software suites have been programmed by computer programmers, by computer scientists, by math people, and not necessarily people from a geography background. And so sometimes they will swap this up. They will give you longitude first and then latitude. And you have to be very careful about that, especially when they do something like not use directions north, south, east, west to express coordinates, but start to use positive and negative signs as if latitude and longitude were Cartesian grid coordinates. So yes, occasionally you do see something like this, uh, 32.4, uh, negative 14.1, okay? And that's supposed to be a set of latitude and longitude, but it looks a lot like Cartesian grid coordinates, but this can be very confusing. So what they sometimes try to do is use positive values for north and negative values for south, positive values for east, and negative values for west. And they set that up like that to sort of easily go into a computer system, but you have to, you have to really make sure that you're watching because when you're entering different coordinates, you want to make sure you don't enter them backwards, that you're using a positive or a negative sign if you need to, uh, instead of east and west, and really understand the way that your software platform is going to be expressing latitude and longitude, which may be different from the correct and proper way that latitude and longitude uh, really should be expressed. This use of the positive and negative can get extra confusing when also this swap happens. And this is why I am always so careful when I, I am teaching students to be very careful and deliberate about what they're doing. I don't like this at all. When I see something like this written out, I'm always very skeptical of it because I'm not sure who wrote it. I mean, this is supposed to be latitude and then longitude over here. But, you know, since they're just using positive and negative, I have to at least look at it uh, twice to make sure that this is, uh, this coordinate system is, or these coordinates are not accidentally giving me longitude first and then latitude. As if, uh, since they're already using positive and negative, as if latitude and longitude were Cartesian grid coordinates, I at least want to double check to be sure that they're not also confusing which one is latitude and longitude. Now, of course, it might be obvious what happened if I've got, uh, you know, 110. Uh, 0.7 and then uh, 32.4 over here. Uh, well, then, okay, I know that in order to get 110.7, I'm going to have to have a longitude. There's no latitude that's 110.7, obviously. So maybe you can figure it out and at least verify if you're in this kind of situation. But here, either one of those could be a latitude, either one of those could be a longitude. And so you can't just count on uh, anything being one particular way, especially when you move into a software program. 
So uh, I want you to be aware of that because sometimes uh, in ArcGIS, for instance, you do have to do this. ArcGIS wants you to give the uh, longitude first and then give the latitude as if you were giving X and Y coordinates. And so even if you have all of your pairs set up, you have to sort of invert them in order to enter it into the software system. And this is very confusing. Uh, you know, I really wish that uh, the software system stayed uh, latitude and then longitude like uh, latitude and longitude are supposed to be, but uh, you can't always count on software programs to get everything right. So you do have to be aware of how what latitude and longitude is, how it actually works, and then when you are using a particular software package, really make sure that you find out the way that it both reports coordinates and the way that it wants to accept coordinates from you when you uh, give them uh, to it, to the software. So please be aware of that. Um, I like to stick with uh, north, south, east, west. Make sure that you stick with uh, using the directional uh, indicators rather than positive, negative. And I always stick with latitude first, longitude first. And I prefer to write out degrees, minutes, seconds. When you see somebody writing out degrees, minutes, seconds, DMS notation, and uh, uh, you know, formally, you know that person really understands latitude and longitude. And you know, I have a lot more confidence that their numbers are right. Uh, then and you know are being expressed correctly and I've communicated that information to me correctly rather than if I see just a long list of information that looks like this without at least uh, documentation and metadata so that I know exactly what's going on. So I always prefer to stick with the formal notation I always prefer to stick with uh, the DMS notation whenever I can or when I'm reporting that information to somebody else and then you really have to do the conversion right and really understand what your software works uh, is using when you move to work with a particular software platform. So I just want you to be aware of that uh, as we move forward. All right, see you in the next lesson.